Going back and editing this footage now, I realize that was for sure the Tom I had set up on that morning. Now I gotta get to work. In pursuit of the Tom, I bump into a group of deer going back to bed. Instead of bumping the deer and then bumping the turkeys, I decide to back out. see how they act maybe tomorrow I'll have to throw a hen and a Jake at them but for tonight I'm just gonna go to the Jake and then maybe make an adjustment from there so a little overcasty doesn't seem to be blowing too much I'm freaking tired from my hunt this morning still so I got some monster and I've been drinking coffee all day but second to last night here in Iowa See what we can do. Not sure if we're out hunters moving in or not. My gut told me to stay in this field in here up where I saw that bird last time. Especially. Good. Public land bridges. They exist. I don't know if I can even fit that. It's got to shimmy a little. Now fail. That's your chance. Getting aggressive won't always work out for you. Like in this case. I think it was about 30 minutes later when I realized I'd lost my hat. Never did find that thing. I remember that putt like it was yesterday because it reminded me that I didn't listen to the gut feeling that told me to set up before I came to the clearing on the other side of the thicket.
bird gobbles again from the other side of the telephone line. I'm packing up. I'm on the move and I'm going after him. It's the last day in Iowa. The set didn't produce. I ended Iowa's season with tag soup, but I don't see it that way. I learned a handful of lessons, and I'll use those in 2020.